Hi everyone, so today I decided to make a video um, where I'm going to talk about bladder stones and I decided to make this video today because unfortunately Watson does have some and I do have a theory on how she got it because my other two tortoises don't have it. She's the only one so let's get into it. So as some of you may know, if you watch my Meet My Pets video, Watson came to me from a friend and my friend did not take good care of her at all. So what I think it happened is that she already came to me with the bladder stone because my other two tortoises don't have it and these bladder stones take a long time to develop to get this big, which I'll show you in a second, the x-ray. But that's my theory. The cause for these bladder stones, which you might be wondering why this happens, uh, the exact cause is unknown, but dehydration plays a significant factor in this disease. And many people believe that tortoises get their water from the food that they eat, and this is not actually true. They do get some water, but they also should have water 24-7 like available. I keep a um, a water bowl on my tortoise pen all the time and, they, and it is always filled up um, and besides that you should also soak your tortoises um, about two to three times a week which I do and I also have a water bowl. Diet is also a factor in this disease so for most tortoises they do not like for all tortoises to be honest they do not need protein in their diet and a lot of people uh, think it's a good idea to feed them cat or dog food like canned food and that is a terrible idea they do not need protein and it, it's really not good for them so these bladder stones can be caused by high, pro high protein in their diet and dehydration but like the exact exact cause is unknown So when it comes to symptoms, there are no specific symptoms that tell us a tortoise has a bladder stone and some of them don't show any symptoms at all, they can live with it and you might never know it. So the more common symptoms, if they do show, is either nasal discharge, poor appetite, straining to have a bowel movement, inability to lay eggs in case if it's a female, and lameness in back legs and lethargy. A tortoise can become paralyzed in the back legs due to the mechanical pressure from the bladder stone and the problem can even progress further and some tortoises can succumb to the bladder stone. As you can tell from the video, Watson is struggling to get out and this is why I brought her to the vet because her back legs were paralyzed. Her right leg wasn't moving and she really wasn't using it and that did worry me so I took her to the vet and then found out that she had a bladder stone. There are two methods utilized to diagnose bladder stones. So the first one is um, to perform the palpation technique, which is shown in the image that you're seeing. And when you do feel it, you can actually remove it from the same area where it is being touched in the picture. But in my case, um, it was diagnosed through an x-ray. And as you can see, this is the actual x-ray from Watson. The usual treatment for a bladder stone in tortoises is to perform surgery to completely remove the stone. In this surgery, they literally cut a hole in the bottom of the shell and remove the stone from the bladder. Most tortoises do fine after a few days in the hospital and a few weeks of recovery at home and after that they are back to normal. However, this is not the case for Watson because we do not know if this is a kidney stone or a bladder stone because if it's a kidney stone I don't know if, if it's operable and I don't know what's gonna happen from there but if it's a bladder stone then she will be she will have surgery but for now I'm just giving her medicine every single day she's doing okay and as you can see she does not um, she does not have poor appetite she still is very hungry and happy for now, 
and yeah I'm just going to show you what I do uh, every single day so this is a treatment that I do So after I prepare the medicine, I just grab her and I make sure to clean her butt where she is going to take the shot. Um, and unfortunately, since I'm super smart, I totally forgot to press record when I was giving her the actual shot, so I did not record that. I'm so sorry. It was a huge fail, but yeah. Him. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more, so yeah, see you later.